Bracken or Metzenbull is an Englishman. Tankawakan was the name the Assiniboine tribe gave to the 14-year-old boy seaman who jumped ship in Canada and grew up amongst them. Today, few of the British youngsters who always stare at him would believe that Tatanka's real name is Sidney Hatton. Who would? More at home in the open, Medicine Bull looks an Indian to his feather tips. His headdress, made from 33 golden eagle feathers, is draped with ermine and, like every item in his dress, he made it himself. Buckskin gauntlets were homemade too, and sewn, like his headdress, with sinew gut. Both the feathered tomahawk and the former scalping knife were used against Custer's cavalry in the last battles of the 1880s. Visitors get the how cool a greeting or the plain how. In either case, the arm is extended to show a hand empty of weapons. His two-sticks method of making fire is traditional too. Ask any boy scout. Tatanka's record time for getting a light this way is 17 seconds. The smouldering pine wood gives off a fine powder which can be blown into flame, carried on a piece of buckskin to light the two feet long medicine pipe. Next stop, France, on a circus tour, so the ceremonial smoke is his way of saying goodbye to England. At Brighton, Sussex, models of our home sweet homes through the ages go on show in an exhibition of model engineering and handicrafts. Authentic in every detail, this miniature kitchen shows where a 15th century housewife cooked her husband's goose. No more than seven inches tall, the models are fine examples of painstaking handiwork. Like this not-so-comfy Elizabethan room. It's an exact replica of the great hall of the 16th century Sutton House, Surrey. Models inches tall capture the Regency style and then, coming more up to date, how's this for typical Victorian stuffiness? Models can certainly teach us a sense of proportion. Over to Worthing, Sussex, where engineer Mike...